Ever wondered why a stroll through Amsterdam feels like you're flipping through the pages of a progressive magazine, while a journey across Indonesia feels like you're walking through a historical novel where every chapter unfolds a new layer of cultural intricacy? Let's dive into a thought-provoking exploration of gay experiences in Indonesia versus the Netherlands, where the tapestry of history, colonization, and religion paints two vastly different contemporary landscapes for the LGBTQ community. The story begins in the era of the Dutch East India Company, when the Netherlands, with its tiny wooden ships, set sail to dominate the spicy trade, eventually colonizing Indonesia. This period of colonization, lasting until Indonesia's independence in 1945, left indelible marks on Indonesian culture, economy, and governance. However, what's fascinating is how both nations, once tied by colonial chains, have charted starkly divergent paths concerning LGBTQ rights and acceptance. Fast forward to the present day, the Netherlands stands as a beacon of LGBTQ rights, having been the first country in the world to legalize gay marriage in 2001. Amsterdam, with its iconic rainbow flags fluttering along the canals, is not just a city, it's a statement of freedom and acceptance. The Dutch approach to LGBTQ rights is rooted in a broader societal acceptance and progressive policies that champion equality and individual rights. Contrast this with Indonesia, where the narrative shifts dramatically. Despite Indonesia's rich cultural diversity and history of pre-colonial kingdoms, that recognized and sometimes celebrated gender fluidity and diverse sexual orientations, contemporary Indonesia presents a challenging landscape for the LGBTQ community. The influence of conservative religious values, particularly in a country with the world's largest Muslim population, casts a long shadow over the rights and everyday experiences of LGBTQ individuals. In some regions, like Aceh, Sharia law prescribes harsh punishments for homosexual acts, reflecting a societal stance that is less about acceptance and more about adherence to traditional norms. This divergence is not just about policy, but is deeply embedded in the social fabric of each nation. In the Netherlands, religion plays a role, but it's often seen through a more liberal lens, with many religious communities adopting a more accepting stance towards LGBTQ plus individuals. This contrasts sharply with Indonesia, where religion significantly influences social attitudes and government policies towards LGBTQ plus rights. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Despite the legal and societal challenges faced in Indonesia, there's a resilient and vibrant underground LGBTQ plus community that thrives against the odds. From secret parties in Jakarta to clandestine gatherings in Bali, the community finds ways to express themselves and celebrate their identity, albeit discreetly to navigate the complex socio-political landscape. This tale of two countries is not just a story of legal rights. It's a deeper narrative about the impact of history, colonization and religion on contemporary society's fabric. It's about how two countries, intertwined by history, can evolve so differently, shaping the lives and experiences of the LGBTQ community in each. As this exploration comes to a close, it's clear that while the Netherlands and Indonesia share chapters in their colonial past, their stories of LGBTQ acceptance and rights have taken divergent paths. It's a reminder of the complexities of history, the power of culture, and the ongoing struggle for equality and acceptance in different corners of the world. To wrap up this journey, let's ponder a quote from pop culture diva RuPaul. We're all born naked and the rest is drag. It's a humorous yet profound reminder of the universality of our human experience, transcending geography, history, and even laws. The essence of who we are, in our most authentic selves, knows no boundaries or borders. If this deep dive has sparked curiosity, stirred emotions, or simply entertained, 
don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Asian Pride.